Hi, this is Catherine from In The Pink Designs. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And my project today is this box that fits a pack of Tic Tacs. And this is using the Gilded Autumn Specialty Designer Series paper. Uh, two different ones. And the gold foil paper. Some... Early Expresso cardstock. This pumpkin I cut out of this Designer Series paper. This one I stamped using the Gather Together stamp set and Gathered Leaves dies for the outside. Um, and the scallop die was from Little Treats. Okay. So this time I'm going to do a different paper again. It's from, still from the same Gilded Autumn specialty paper. Um, it's the other side of this one, which I did a card on the last video I did. And it is sized six by five inches. So I'll get out my Simply Score. And on the six inch side, we're going to score at three quarter. And I'm trying out using the, the small uh, side of the... Um, Silas for the, the the paper that has like the foily stuff on it. So it was three quarters, sorry, two and five eighths, three and three eighths, and five and a quarter. And then we're going to turn it to the five inch side. And we're going to score at three quarters, three and three quarters and four and a half. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, and this is what we want to do. All right, so it's with the two, two um, rectangles at the top. One is a half an inch and one is three quarter inches. Okay, and then there's another three quarter inch at the bottom. But we want your paper that you want showing facing you with those two at the top when we figure out what we're going to cut. All right, so let me put this on again so you can see it a little bit longer. Okay, so we're going to get rid of this piece, all of this, and this little bit. Okay? All right, so let's start on the bottom right-hand corner, and we're just going to take out this piece and then just put a little wedge at top on the rectangle on top of it, okay? Now just turn it one quarter turn to the side and we're going to take out everything, I guess that's, that's one, up to two score lines, okay? Which is the flap that we're not going to use, basically, and this end little piece here, okay? So that's what it looks like now. All right. Okay, now the bottom, we're just gonna cut the rectangle straight and just take the smallest little wedge out of these small squares. Okay. All right, so that's our bottom and the top and this little bit. Now we're keeping everything but these top little tiny, tiny rectangles up here. All right, so turn it all the way around. Now this piece in the middle is your flap. So you wanna cut straight down your flap on both sides. And then I wedge with it on so that I don't have to cut it. Okay, so just you can either wedge like this, or you can cut off the top bits first, and then wedge the square. 
Okay, so let me just put it down so that you can see the shape of it. Okay, and it should match. Yes. All right, so now we need, for the, this side here, we need a small circle punch just to take a finger hole out. And for the flap, we're just going to round the edges with our detail trio punch. Okay. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna use tear and tape, which is my favorite. And I'm going to put it on this flap over here, that this piece right here that does not have the flap attached to it. I'm going to put it close to the score line. I'm just going to fold that over and fold the box over to it. Okay. And then I'm just going to close the top, and that helps us square our box. Oopsie. <laughs> I need a little bit more taken out of this one here. Okay, that should work. Oh, maybe I just need a little bit. Yeah, I, I left the score line piece right here. So I'm just going to trim that. Now let's see. I'm giving you all the troubleshooting things. I don't know what is going on here. All right, I'm going to wedge this a lot more and see what happens. I think I bent my specialty paper, so there we go. Okay. I kind of bent my specialty paper in when it wasn't big enough the first time, so it didn't want to go in. But now we have it, and we have our little finger holes, so it's easier. Okay, now since this is going to be our back, the piece with our finger hole is going to be the back. We're going to have the sides go in, put the back in, and then this flap will be our front and we'll put our tear and tape on that. And since Tic Tacs are kind of heavy, I'm going to put two. Not that heavy, but for this little box they're heavy. goodness I think I hit the end of my tape oh no you know what that is that's underneath it looks like it's a piece of cardboard but it's the stripe on this cardstock <laughs> I thought I hit the end of my tear and tape finally all right and then we just make it as square as we can and press down okay now we'll put our I don't have a third one so I'm going to put it from another box and the top, I had to make it a little bit looser on the bottom because the top is bigger. I discovered that after I made one. It's a little bit wider on both edges. Okay, there we go. Now we have our box. Okay, I have a whole bunch of things over here. Now I already cut a piece of this designer series paper. I cut the pumpkin out again. And we have this from the Little Treat Styes out of the gold foil paper. I have a strip of, this was Early Espresso, but I think for this paper I'm going to do a strip of the gold foil paper that is one by six inches. And I'm just going to just gently wrap it around just to make little marks so that I know that it fits nicely. And then I'm going to get my liquid glue. And I'm just going to put a little bit on all of it because it doesn't need to slide off. Paying attention to the side, the edges here and here. Okay, so which is our, this is our back. So we want to have the edges end in the front. So just make sure you have it right in the center. 
we'll just give that a minute to just set. Yeah, that looks nice too. These ones, these ones look nice too, but I didn't want to put the dark when there was nothing. I just wanted to try the, the, the gold paper on this one. Okay, and now I don't know. This is a one and three eighth inch circle, but you could use a little bit bigger and a little bit smaller if you don't have that, because that got retired. I don't know if I want that on there or if I want this on there. I think I'm gonna go with the dark. Okay. So, I'm just going to attach the one and three eighths inch circle with some liquid glue. And then I'm gonna pop the pumpkin up on that. I'm going to put two because it's the designer series paper. It's not thick like cardstock. These, I only really needed one because I stamped that onto regular weight cardstock. Put that on there. Okay. And then these I popped up, but I think I'm going to just use regular glue on these. Because these look a little high to me sometimes, a little bit high, too high up. So I'm just going to put liquid see it's crooked okay now for the bow I have a couple different things tied up here this one I used the wonder of the season foil um, gold foil cording it looks goldy um, but I don't know if on this one no I don't want that I don't know. I think I'm going to just do this again. And what I did with this is I just bent it in half. There's somebody across the street pulling down trees and chipping them. So they're very, my dogs are very interested. Oopsie, missed it. Looks good. And I'm just going to take a glue dot and kind of roll it if I can. Just kind of roll it on itself so it's not too big. I'm going to put it right there. Okay, and there we have our Tic Tac holder for fall. I couldn't find any fall Tic Tacs, but I, my kids don't really like the pumpkin spice or any of that kind of stuff, so I just got them their favorite. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. If you would like to have the details, I'll link my blog below that will have all the measurements on it. And if you'd like to buy any of these products, my address for Stampin' Up! is at the top of the screen. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.